Hey, look at that. We're live. Good morning, everybody. You know what time it is. Time for seven minutes in the morning. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. It is indeed time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Thank you so much for being here. Whether you're watching live or on the replay, do what Joe has done. Beat you all to this morning and drop a comment in there. Say hi, say hello. Good morning to you, Cliff. Good to see you here this morning as well. And hey, listen, if you happen to be listening out and about on your favorite podcast catcher maybe over on sound sound cloud feel like ron burgundy sound cloud or sound cloud or on youtube head over to seven minutes in the morning.com that gets you the right place on facebook so you can indeed leave a comment and join in the conversation so this week actually i moved my book i put my book back over here where it's supposed to be this week we're talking about um is the business running you or are you running the business? Is the business running you or are you running the business? That's a good one, isn't it? So uh, yesterday we talked a little bit about this whipsaw effect where, oh, my gosh, you don't have any customers, market, 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 and then you get a bunch of customers. And, oh, my gosh, now i got to work, 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 and then all that's done. Is like, oh, no customers. got And you're just constantly going back and forth like that. That is definitely... One of the instances, one of the uh, um, manifestations of the business running you. But here's another one that um, might be a little bit more subtle and might be uh, less obvious to detect. Our, and, and the hint was in the title of this morning's episode, um, Are You Solving Problems? And so specifically, do problems get solved? Or do the same problems keep coming back around? Now, we'll get to why that happens in just a minute. But the, just like yesterday, when I ask you just to, to be aware, to recognize, be able to recognize that the whipsaw is going on, how do you recognize if problems are getting solved or if they keep coming back around? In fact, it, it's kind of insidious. It might feel like that's what's supposed to happen. Well, you know, it's this is what business is is about is solving problems. Tom says, you know, we solve problems for other people at a profit. So this it's just this must be what it's all about. Well, yes and no. Yes, we do solve problems for other people at a profit, but the same problems are if the problem is for a customer, <laughs> then then it's a, a process opportunity where you can hand that off to someone else. If the problem is is on the business, as you're working on the business, not in the business, then it's something that you need to correct. Because by, not, by not fixing that problem, by not correcting it, you are allowing the business to run you. And you're never going to get past that point where the business is running you until you are able. Let me say that a different way. You're never going to get past that point where the business is running you until you are willing to acknowledge that this problem exists and take an action to fix it. So just by the, just the very act of paying attention, recognizing, acknowledging this is a problem. I see this problem a lot. Maybe, maybe you have to get a book and write it down so that you can recognize the patterns, right? Cause sometimes if, God, didn't we do this already? Yeah, you probably did, right? So start tracking, do, do whatever you got to do. Stickies on a whiteboard work really well for this. Here's a problem that we faced. Here's what we, here were the conditions and here's what we did. Plop it up there on the board. Next time that question comes up, just come in and look at it. Come in and look at it. Get your team to come in and look at it. Now they know what to do. Now that you've, you've cycled through it a couple of times, it's a process. Now you can write it down. Here's what happens when this, 
you know, when this happens and this happens and these are the conditions, do this. It's kind of like, and look, we overcomplicate it. We way overcomplicate it. <clears throat> I'm doing it on time there. We way overcomplicate this. There's a high school football coach, I think he's in California, who never punts on fourth down. Doesn't even have a punter on the team. Never punts the ball. Always runs a play on fourth down. Can be in the shadow of his own goal post. Still going to run a play on fourth down. Why? Because statistically, he's going to get a first. He has a better chance of getting a first down than he does not. Now, does he let the other team score points more easily sometimes? Yes, but more often than not, he wins. So we overcomplicate this thing. Actually, I'm talking about this today, a really similar topic today at Redstone Federal Credit Union at lunch. If, you know, something bad happens, our typical response is, whoa, we got to we gotta put something in place to never let that happen again. Okay, well, first you have to examine how likely is it to happen again. Because if it's not likely to happen again, then all of this stuff is for naught. The second thing you have to look at is, was it even under your control? If you do all of these things, will you prevent it from happening? Some things just aren't under our control, right? So it's the same thing here, the same principle here when we're solving problems. Don't look at every unfavorable outcome and say, oh, we, we, we have to fix that. No. The problems that come up repeatedly over and over and over and over again, fix those first. And in all honesty, they might even be the harder ones to fix. That's why you're putting it off and haven't fixed it already. But if you'll do that, you get those things out of the way, you create, look, if this thing happens five times a day and everything else happens one time a day, or this happens four and that happens one, then 80% of the time it's the same problem. If you fix 80% of your problem situations in one fail swoop, look at how much time you just created for yourself and how much mental space and bandwidth you created for yourself. Pretty awesome, huh? All right, so here's your homework for today. I want you to look around as you are doing business doing life today i want you to look around and see what problems keep coming up and if you need to grab a notebook jot down a journal entry keep up with the ones that come up the most so that you can create solutions for them and give yourself back that bandwidth it's tuesday that means radio show rig Ved from i2c is going to be on the show at some point with me today you need to dial in and listen to that 1450 AM 105.3 FM or talk radio for You can watch the live stream, even get some of the stuff that happens in between. All right. And then, uh, Redstone Federal at lunch. That's on my, uh, events page, tomrigsby.com. Just look for upcoming events in the top menu and then webinar tonight. Oh, I want to put that in the comments too. If I can get to the right keyboard here. So, is your business running you? That, oh, you. That's our uh, webinar tonight. It'll be at 7.30 tonight, running it again Thursday morning at 8. Go to that page. You can get more details and register to save your seat for it there. That's it. I'm done. You guys have a great rest of the day Tuesday. See you back here again in the morning. <laughs>